All right, guys, so a lot of people ask me, you know, share a day in the life of Brian. Like, what do you do? So let's do that. You know, objective four in the book is make today a masterpiece. So here's how I go about creating a masterpiece day, and we'll share different elements of it with you. But the most important thing that I think we need to think about when we're creating a masterpiece day, uh, well, there's a couple things. First, you got to know that you've got an AM and a PM bookend. I got that phrase from Darren Hardy in his great book, The Compound Effect. You have more control over your morning and your evenings than you do the rest of your day, right? He calls them an AM and a PM bookend. I love that. It's what I use as a, a way to capture that. But here's the most important thing to know about how to make today a masterpiece. Today started yesterday. How you ended your day yesterday directly affects how you feel when you wake up today. Now that's an obvious thing to say, but it's also an easy thing to forget. And we need to make common sense, common practice, and do the things that we know are best for us. And then digital sunset, and then I went to bed around eight o'clock. We tuck the kids in, I'm in bed shortly after we tuck the kids in. Then I'm waking up, and I, I got up a little bit earlier this morning, uh, eight plus hours in bed, seven plus hours of sleep. Usually I'm in bed a little bit longer and I get a little bit more sleep. But I woke up bright and early for something before the sun's up, no alarm, feeling good. So I'm doing the morning hygiene things and then it's meditation. I'm connecting to the best version of myself via a very specific meditation practice. I'm focusing on my breath. I'm imagining our virtues in my mind. I'm walking through those virtues. Wisdom, discipline, love, courage, gratitude, hope, curiosity and zest. I'm doing the declarations that go with each of those virtues. Wisdom, I know the game I'm playing and how to play it well. Discipline, I forge anti-fragile confidence with every action I take. Love, I am joyful, connected and encouraging. Courage, I am willing to act in the presence of fear. Gratitude, I appreciate all the blessings and gifts in my life. I'm literally saying this to myself every single morning. Hope, I have an inspiring goal, a sense of agency, and a plan and pathways to hit that goal. And then curiosity. I pay attention to what's working and what needs work today. And then zest. I dominate my fundamentals, so I have heroic energy. I do those virtues. Then I imagine my heroes who are on my wall. And they come and they talk to me. Literally every single morning, my heroes come in and they tell me one thing they want me thinking about. So I imagine them and I literally imagine them showing up in my room, almost like a Dumbledore's office, you know, with his professors that come to life on his wall. This morning, Ralph Waldo Emerson told me, trust thyself. Every heart vibrates to that iron string. It's a line from his great essay, Self-Reliance. And then Abraham Lincoln tells me, win the civil war within your own consciousness so you can win the civil war, the metaphorical and real wars that are out there in the world. And you can help lead um, that change. Marcus Aurelius, the great Roman Stoic philosopher, frankly, he was a reluctant emperor, right? He wanted to be a philosopher. Um, I, I relate to that a lot. I'm kind of a hermit. I like being a philosopher. Well, I feel called to lead as well. So he tells me, and this morning he told me, play your role well. Do your best at what you've been chosen to do. And then I've got John Mackey, created Whole Foods. He's on my wall. I really admire him as a conscious capitalist. His new business is called Love Life. It's what he tells me every morning. It's what he's told me as a mentor of mine. Love life, Brian. And he tells me, you got to be your brand. You've got to be heroic. You got to be willing to put yourself out there. Then I've got uh, Joseph Campbell. Every morning he tells me, we train heroes, the great hero mythologist. And then I've got Phil Stutz who tells me, get out of your comfort zone, bring it on. You love pain, uncertainty, and hard work. The three things he says you're never exonerated from. A smile, give him a fist bump. Um, and then I envision our business, the future of our business, creating a world in which 51% of humanity is flourishing by the year 2051. I've tattooed my body with that. Every morning I look down at that tattoo and I say to myself, hero, I see a world in which 51% of humanity is flourishing by the year 2051. Let's get to work. Um, and then I'm thinking about the steps we're going to take in order to execute that uh, vision and fulfill our mission. Right? And then I, I'm journaling. I'm mapping out 
what I want to do, how we're going to do it. I spend three minutes doing journaling um, and vision kind of um, polishing every morning. This is a scientifically proven practice. If you want to cultivate your hope, Sonia Libomirsky says this three minute journaling process is one of the most powerful ways to build your hope muscles. I do that every single morning. Then I take a picture of my journaling, right? And I put that up on Heroic Social. And then I figure out what the most important thing is to do that day. We call it a win. You know, when I was writing the book, it was obviously writing the book. When I'm recording the audio book, that's my deep work. I'll move into that early. Uh, it might be some strategic thinking on whatever we're doing. It might even be an email I'm going to send or two or three. But I'm writing those while in deep offline mode, deep work mode. Um, that's how I start the morning. Then it's, you know, it's some time with the kids, grab a little breakfast, and then I train. So now we're going to talk about that. This morning it was about 40 degrees out in Austin, Texas. I'm out there getting some cold exposure. Wim Hof would be happy, right? I'm working out those millions of little micro muscles in my cardiovascular system. <laughs> Look at my breath. You can see the breath uh, exhaled through my mouth. Usually I'm doing that through my nose. So I got my heart rate monitor and also measure when I get my heart rate up 101 beats from my low. And then I use something called blood flow restriction bands, which is what this is. I start in this position. I look back at my house, which I fell in love with when I saw it online. And then we're ready for some action. We're going to go have some fun on the little trail. We've got hammer some burpees and I'll give you a little guided tour. There's ice on it, by the way. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so here's the uh, burpee spot. Uh, I've literally got five different spots on the trail where I do burpees. This is the first one. So I'm banging out. I've already done 55, I don't know, maybe even 77 burpees by this point. But I'm out. I'm doing sets of 11 burpees at a time. I do one sun salutation, 10 pull-ups, 100 burpees, 1,000 meters of rowing, and I walk 10,000 steps every single day. But I do those 100 burpees 11 at a time. So I'm doing 110 burpees a day. That's almost 40,000 burpees a year. But I'm doing them 11 at a time. Technically one at a time, but sets of 11. And the idea here is nothing's that hard if you break it down into small enough chunks. Like this. Dude, this is going to be so cool. Sun peeking out. Breath is visible. <laughs> we got some Wim Hof cold exposure going. You know, the first thing we did when we moved out to the country, Emerson and I went to Home Depot. One of my first trips to Home Depot in my life, and uh, we got some equipment to make this trail. It was all kind of overgrown. That trail wasn't there. Now we've got this half a mile loop on the property, which is uh, one of my favorite places in the world, um, let alone on our lands. I'm literally swiping some targets right now. Let's go. I got cold exposure as one of my targets. So again, one of the reasons I don't have my shirt on is it's cold. You know, I think it was 40 degrees, feels like 32, and uh, I'm feeling it, um, but getting a little workout in addition to the obvious workout. So this, this would count as cold exposure. And hit the little target. <laughs> That's actually fun. <laughs> Turn in the corner. Look at that sun rising. Beautiful morning. So there's the sun. This is the second set. We've got the second little burpee spot ready to go. All right, 11 more burpees. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So cool. Again, nothing's that hard when you break it down into small enough chunks. And every single time I do a set of 11 burpees, boom, fist pump. That's like me, building a self-image. You're never going to outperform a poor self-image. That's mental toughness 101. Who are you at your best? Are you acting like that? The identity I've created for myself in the Heroic app is disciplined athlete. Now, frankly, I train just as much as I think I need to in order to show up powerfully in my work and my love. But I show up like I'm a world-class athlete. You know, I've done that 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000 sequence. The sun salutation, pull-ups, burpees, rowing, and steps, basically every single day over the last decade. You can count on my two hands how many days I've missed that. Simple things, repeated consistently, 
can change our lives. People also ask me how the heck I'm so lean. <laughs> well, I'm a lean guy in general, obviously, but no sugar, no refined foods. And then I show up, you know, consistently. Another kind of secret weapon to getting great energy, of course, is sleep. You know, nutrition, eating, moving, sleeping, these basic fundamentals when practiced consistently are life-changing. I, this was a 20 minute total workout this morning. That'd be more than enough for me to get going for the day. And, um, but again, I don't miss days. And uh, consistency is the exponentializer. Yeah, look at those trees. I just feel so blessed. If you turn left here, by the way, you go up to the house. We, get, we got Zaf and Wag. Both those guys adopted us. <laughs> Let's go guys. Great dogs, true heroes, protectors. There's my breath. It is cold out, folks. We're approaching a uh, seasonal pond here. Oh. Oh. Look at this, get this frost. <laughs> so this is a pond that comes up and down. Um, and there's that sun peeking up over those trees. Let's go, take a moment, ground, energized tranquility. God, isn't this good? Oh, yes. Back at it. I point to that because that's where Emerson and I had our chat. We're going around the trail, talking about how he doesn't want to go to the Austin Grandmaster Chess Tournament that day, talking about Part X, talking about fear and laziness, talking about Arate, talking about heroic. And um, talk to him about, dude, if you run your life letting that voice that's telling you all the reasons why you shouldn't do the thing you know you want to do, run the show. You're not going to create the life you want. Um, there's a burpee spot number, what is that, four. I've done three of them, right? Uh, I got some weights sitting down next to me there as well. We got that 50 pounds of rocks uh, in the Spartan bucket. I've got different places on the trail where I'll pick up stuff and carry heavy things. I think I pick it up a little bit later on, but here we are, um, I don't know, more than halfway through the loop at this stage. Used to have some goats and a donkey that lived in that pen, but we got, we got two kids. We got uh, nine chickens. We didn't need goats and donkeys, so uh, here we go, wrapping up the uh, first loop, feeling the cold, and uh, enjoying the walk. I'm gonna carry these 30 pound weights to the uh, pull-up bar, which you will see in a moment, uh, is a tree uh, that I use for pull-ups that uh, Alexander and the kids use as well, which is pretty fun. I'm also breathing through my nose right now, exclusively, you'll see me every once in a while exhale through my mouth. You know, training my breath in my morning meditation, training my breath when I'm sleeping at night, I wear tape at night, as you know if you follow along. Right now I'm moving, I'm training, breathing exclusively through my nose. Paradoxically, the way to get oxygen into your, um, out of your red blood cells, into your muscles and organs is by not breathing as much, not breathing through your mouth. Anyway, here's our pull-up bar. It's a, a tree branch. The kids and uh, Alexander use that little purple thing to um, support them doing it. But I, you know, I do 11 pull-ups a day. Uh, usually like seven at a time. Here we go. First seven. All right. Never seen myself do pull-ups. There you go. <laughs> getting it done, getting it done. So seven pull-ups. Uh, usually I'll do another loop, come back and do another seven pull-ups. Right now I'm just taking a quick breath, enjoying the morning. That sunrise is peaking up. Now we'll step up, do another few, checking out the heart rate. I'm gonna get that heart rate up to over 101 beats from the lowest point that I measured during that morning's meditation. I think it was like 43 this morning. So I gotta get that heart rate up to 144. Um, we'll get it up considerably higher than that while rowing. But anyway, here's the second half. But I make sure I do 11 every day. Champions do more. When I got 10 reps, I do 11 playfully. I laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want 10, I'll give you 11. Um, thinking to myself again, mental toughness principle, champions do more. We outperform our contracts. There we go. Taking it leisurely today. Not going hard, obviously, but uh, out on a walk with Sean. Let's go, Sean. Again, I, I do a thousand meters of rowing every day. A thousand meters of rowing takes me four minutes to do. Four and a half minutes if I'm going super leisurely, but it's consistency. 
I'm showing up, I'm doing it every single day, and I'm getting the physiological benefits of pushing myself, and I'm also getting the psychological benefits of being the guy that does what I say I will do. So here we go, we got the rowing machine on our front porch, that's like us. We got the, uh, what, are the what are those, Razor scooters behind that the kids have parked up there. We've got a rebounder right there. Wife's outside working out. You can't see her assault bike. Maybe you'll see that at the end. Decent form. I'm sure I'm going to get some coaching on that, but there we go. I got that set to 10 on the concept. All right, so now I'm rowing a little harder here. We're going at about a 138 split on 500 meters, which is, which is good for me. Like that, that's a pull, anything under 140. Again, for me, that's a nice pace. Um, let's check it out. What do we got? 157. All right, cool. Awesome, dude. Awesome, dude. Getting my heart rate 101 beats over my low from my meditation that day, um, every single day. I call it plus 101. It, and there it is. There's, there's the assault bike as well on the front porch. Workout complete, ready for the rest of the day. Heroically energized so I can be heroically productive, so I can be heroically connected. It is always day one. Today's the day to move from theory to practice to mastery. Hope you enjoyed.